ChatGPT is a super, super powerful tool. If you are in a business, you should absolutely be leveraging it to automate those annoying tasks that no one wants to do. And you should also be using it to help you grow your business and make sales. So I'll teach you seven ways that ChatGPT can help you grow your online biz for free. Yes, this tool is free. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Michelle Bally. I'm a creative strategist and I am also your host for today's video. And if you guys are super new here and you've never watched any of our videos from this channel, what's up? This is Learn with Shopify. This is an official Shopify YouTube tutorial channel where we give easy to follow step-by-step -step tutorials for entrepreneurs of all levels. So welcome to the crew and make sure that you are subscribing if that does sound good to you and hit that notification bell because we drop a new video every week. I'm going to explain what ChatGPT is and how to get logged onto it. So if you already know this, feel free to just use the timestamp in the description box to skip ahead. But first, what is ChatGPT? So ChatGPT is a chatbot that uses AI to understand humans and spit out human-like responses. And what makes this tool so useful is it operates on generative AI, meaning that ChatGPT can actually generate new content rather than, let's say, Google which is just referencing existing content from the web. So for example, you can get it to solve math problems, you can get it to write code, explain a complex concept in depth, summarize books, paraphrase articles, write blog posts, write short video scripts, and just so much more. And what makes it so special is it doesn't feel like you're talking to a bot. From its launch, ChatGPT gained over a million users in the span of five days. And guys, this growth is absolutely unheard of. To compare platforms, to gain the same amount of users, it took Facebook 10 months, it took Twitter 24 months, and Netflix 3.5 years. That's a lot. So in case you haven't already, let me show you how you can sign up to get started with this. How to use ChatGPT. So if you go to chat.openai.com, it'll ask you to create a free account. And once you do, you'll be taken to a chatbot. Here is where you can ask it to perform those tasks and answer questions for you. And that's it. All right, now let me show you what it can do for your business. Level up your spreadsheet productivity. ChatGPT can make very tedious tasks within Excel or Google Sheets a lot quicker and more painless. It not only can do things for you, so if you've ever been looking at a spreadsheet and you know exactly what it is you need to do, but you just don't know how to do it, ChatGPT can quickly teach you how to do it. So check this out. Let's say you have a list of customers and their first and last names are in a single cell, but you want to separate these cells. You can type into ChatGPT and ask it, how do I separate a first and last name into two separate cells in Excel? And this is the answer that it gave me. So that's really good. But I actually wanted a formula for how to do this really quickly and easily. So the nice thing about ChatGPT is that it remembers our conversation in that same chat. So now I can have a conversation with it. So now I'm gonna ask if it can give me a formula for this. And look, it gave me a formula that I can now easily plug into Excel. The nice thing about this that Google doesn't have is that it generates an accurate response within 10 seconds or less. And I don't have time to search the internet to get a definitive answer. So this is just one of the ways that you can use ChatGPT to help you make your life in spreadsheets just go a lot smoother. So let me know some useful prompts or Excel you discovered using ChatGPT in the comment section below. You can write a job description. So whether you want to hire someone to join your team full time, or maybe you just need a quick freelancer from Upwork, you're going to need a job description. So I want to ask ChatGPT to write me a professional and friendly job description with some of my requirements. And in a matter of seconds, look how detailed this is, guys. This saved me a lot of time of thinking of how I can word my sentences and how to make it sound super professional. And now I have a job description that's tailored to my needs and that I can quickly edit. You can write content in multiple different languages. So if you're selling products or services internationally, you're going to need your communications in different languages. Whether you're writing a product description or a marketing email, ChatGPT can not only translate it into any language, but it can also create it for you from scratch, right? So let's do this for an example. Let's pretend I wanted to create um, an about us page on my website. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a 90 word statement about my mattress brand that focuses on sustainability. 
I'll give it a few details about my company so that it has something to work with. And guys, look what it spits out. This is ready for me to copy and paste onto my About Us page on my website. Now I'm gonna tell it to translate the statement for my Spanish speaking customers and look how perfect and seamless this was. Right in debug code. If you're running a business and you have a website or an e-commerce store, at some point you're gonna be faced with having to write some code. And having this skill is extremely helpful to make custom edits to your site, but not everyone is a coder, right? So if you're a total beginner, you can ask ChatGPT how to write code from JavaScript to Python. And if ever you have a piece of code that is broken, instead of taking hours to find that error, ChatGPT can actually point out where that error is for you. Create lead magnets. In her most recent video, Sylvia Langley left a comment asking how to create a lead magnet using ChatGPT. Hi, Sylvia. And by the way, guys, if you do wanna see any use cases of ChatGPT that I haven't mentioned here, you can just leave it in the comment section down below, just like Sylvia did. But yeah, I feel like this question is an amazing question, Sylvia. So for anyone that has never heard of a lead magnet and what that is, lead magnets are useful resources that can be easily and freely accessed by prospective customers. The point of them is to use them as a hook to attract new customers. So for example, you could create a free downloadable booklet and make it available for users on your Shopify site, right? It would have your branding, it would have your website, email, or even phone number, so that once this prospective customer is done using this amazing, awesome free resource, the next logical step is to get in touch with you, hence the name Lead Magnet, right? So Sylvia asked how to make a free downloadable booklet, and that is exactly what we're gonna use ChatGPT to do. Let's pretend I have a nutrition business. We're gonna use ChatGPT to help us write a booklet with meals for an entire week, all under 800 calories. I can see this being really useful for anyone that's trying to stay healthy, and I might even put some recipes in there that could include some of my products. That's just one example, but you could do content just like this from fitness to food to fashion and gardening and so much more. Use ChatGPT to negotiate tactfully. In business, negotiations will just be a part of your day-to-day -day life, but it's common to feel kind of clouded by emotion and to be able to negotiate tactfully when that happens. So you can leverage ChatGPT to come up with strategic and rational responses. So check this out. I said, I'm negotiating with a supplier who wants to sell me their units at $2, but I can only afford $1 per unit. How can I strategically, respectfully, and tactfully negotiate? And it came back with essentially the most clear and concise crash course I've ever seen on the important principles of negotiation. And I was like, okay, now write me an email responding back to the supplier. And this is what it answered. So now I can literally copy and paste this and send it off if I wanted to. So that's super useful. You can use ChatGPT to write email marketing content. So some people have a knack for writing catchy and very cool marketing content. And then some of us just aren't wired that way. But the good news is that ChatGPT can help you write your next email to help you sell your products or services. So let's go over to ChatGPT to see just how. I'm gonna say, write me a two sentence paragraph that advertises that my Japanese denim brand is having a 20% off sale. I also wanted to write me some fine print, including dates and exceptions to this sale. And here's what it gave me. And guys, I can put this in the bottom of my email. Now I'm gonna ask it to write me a subject line and a preview text as well. And so now that I have all this, I can head over to MailChimp or Klaviyo or whatever email service provider that I'm using and copy it and paste this text. Easy as that. This email is only halfway done though. We still need imagery. So if you don't have imagery and you actually wanna use AI to generate imagery for you, I urge you to check out this video right over here. This is how to use Dolly to generate branded imagery without ever having to pick up a camera. Email marketing is an invaluable tool to generate sales, whether you have three active customers or 300,000 active customers. And ChatGPT can help you nail those communications every single time. Guys, it's time to give you your much anticipated bonus. Let's talk about GPT-4. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It does help our channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit the like button as well. Okay, the creator of the ChatGPT, OpenAI, announced the release of GPT-4 to the public, which is available to Plus members only. So yeah, it's a paid service, but it is worth every penny. Here are some of the features that it can do. It is a lot smarter than ChatGPT, scoring higher on complex tests than its previous model. It can handle bigger prompts. 
It has the ability to output responses with over 25,000 words and ChatGPT is currently limited to 3,000. So that's almost 10x the amount of words that it can spit out. It accepts images as inputs. So for example, if you just bought a new house plant and you don't know what it's called or how to properly care for it, you can add a photo of your new plant into GPT-4 and it will automatically identify it. And you can do the same thing for insect identification, dog identification, location identification, even outfit identification. <laughs> Here's another cool example. Let's say you see your favorite celebrity out and about in the city and you take a shot of what they're wearing because you love their outfit. Put that image into GPT-4 and it will provide you with a list of websites that contain similar looking items within the limitations of your budget. How cool is that? So GPT-4 can do much more than that. It can also act as a language identification system. It can appraise the value of your antiques and collectibles. It can even appraise damage to your car in case you ever get into an accident and the list goes on and on. Okay, so let's say you have a business, right? But you're having trouble getting customers. Here are gonna be four questions that you should be asking ChatGPT. The way that you phrase your questions is super important because the answer will only be as good as your question. Like if you said, write me a marketing plan for my clothing business, I think the answer is probably gonna suck. But if you're like, write me TikTok content for my athleisure business that targets boomers, then you're gonna get a much better answer. So follow along with me, I'm gonna show you how to write the perfect prompts. Make better converting Facebook ads by getting ChatGPT to write your copy for you. So we're gonna say, can you write me copy for my Facebook ad for my blank company? And for me, you know, I'm gonna do a perfume company, so I'm gonna give it these details. I'm gonna say the name of our perfume company is, we're gonna call it Fig, you can fill in the blank as you wish. And then you're gonna say the product that you're selling. So the perfume I'm gonna be promoting is gonna be called Ripe Fig. So I'll write that here. And then explain who you are targeting. So I'm gonna be targeting females age 20 and up with compulsive shopping habits. They're gonna make $100,000 a year. And yeah, you're just gonna to wanna to be specific. Then say the unique selling features. So I'm gonna say that the ingredients are locally sourced farm ingredients, okay? And then I'm gonna tell it the tone that I want. So I would like this to all convey some sort of prestige. Then once you have your ad copy, you're gonna need a photo, right? So let's head over to Dolly. This is an AI tool where you can tell it what kind of photo you want and it's gonna make it for you pretty much out of thin air. Like it can be really specific, like photograph of a glass perfume bottle in a fig vineyard with a white label that says fig. I don't even think a fig vineyard is a real thing. But now basically you guys, you have your Facebook ad copy, right? And you have your image as well. And that together is a complete package. And you can even go a step further and ask it to give you recommendations on how to set up your campaign and your audience. So this is a really powerful tool. Oh, and by the way, guys, I made you a template to save you time so that you can easily copy and paste all these prompts into ChatGPT. So I will put that for you guys in the description box. By the way, guys, if you wanna learn how to create irresistible content that attracts and retains more customers, it really does help to have a solid marketing plan. And if you haven't already made one, I would say now's the time. So that is why I have another free template for you guys to use. And we've also created a free online course that will walk you through how to use that template. If you are interested in either of those things, I will leave links for you guys in the description box below. Okay, next question. Let's jump right back into ChatGPT. Okay, so you can get it to write you blog articles to better your SEO and get fresh new people to come and visit your site. And I mean like full-fledged blog articles. So for this, I would recommend that you guys use Copy AI. You can use ChatGPT, but sometimes I find it a bit formal unless you set the stage properly. But either way, here's what you should be saying. So you should say, write me a blank toned blog article. I'm gonna say sophisticated for me and my brand. Uh, you would say whatever it is for your brand. And then you're gonna wanna say how you're gonna add value with this blog article. So we're gonna say, to help people learn why perfumes with locally sourced ingredients are considered ethical and prestigious. But of course, you would just fill in the blank here, right? And then guys, this is something that's so overlooked. You wanna educate ChatGPT about who you are. It can read web pages. So I'm gonna say, please subtly include product recommendations from my store, which can be found here. And then you'd put your store URL so that not only are you selling your products in your article, but you are creating a really great piece of content. And then boom, guys, you are educating people about your niche and your product, and you have done so in less than five minutes. 
So because you can pull this off so quickly, you can do this consistently over time and you're just gonna watch your website traffic go up and up. Oh, and guys, by the way, don't forget that ChatGPT's information only goes up to 2021. So if you wanted to write a blog article on say like a recent event or something, I don't think that would necessarily work. Another thing that I should mention is that you wanna make sure that you are rewriting chunks of that content that it is spitting out because word on the street is that Google will ding you and your SEO for posting AI generated content without modifying. I don't know, that's what I've been hearing. Let me know in the comment section if you have also been hearing that as well. So I don't know if you guys know this, but SMS marketing is taking over the world. Email marketing has a 20% open rate, but texts have a 98% open rate according to ManyChat. I don't know about you, but I just opened them to get rid of that notification. Anyways, you can get ChatGPT to write you a week's or even a month's worth of SMS content. So the prompt that I'm gonna use for this is write me 10 SMS marketing messages that are all no more than blank long. So I'm just gonna put two sentences. I think that's great because it probably should be no more than that. And then please make them about an upcoming 20% off sale. You would just put whatever topic is relevant for you and your business here, of course, and then write them in a blank tone. And then for us, we're just gonna say casual and friendly. And then also tell it to make sure that the copy is on brand according to your website. And what you're gonna wanna do is drop your URL just like this. So if you want, say like another 10 texts, but they're all about different topics, I would recommend that you do that in either a separate prompt or in chained prompts, because I have noticed that ChatGPT might get a little confused. But yeah, you see, look at all these absolutely sickening text that I can now easily copy and paste into Klaviyo or MailChimp or whatever I'm using. Okay, so this last prompt is actually arguably the most important. So if you're really having trouble getting customers, like you have tried everything and you just cannot figure out what you're missing, then you can talk to ChatGPT like a human and ask it to give you personalized business advice. So everyone has a different story right? So use this prompt to explain your story and what's going on for you. So like, say for example, let's say, you know, I have my perfume business. I've been really trying to focus on wholesale sales and no one is biting. I might say something like this to ChatGPT. I might be like, I'm having trouble making wholesale sales with my perfume business. I have tried sending emails to retailers all over the US and most of the businesses don't even respond to me and I cannot figure out what I am doing wrong. Please ask me clarifying questions, but can you help me analyze my situation and give me advice to make wholesale sales? And guys, the results of this is insane. Look at my screen. It's asking me clarifying questions. Like how many retailers have you reached out to so far? Over what period of time? Like these questions are amazing. And when I do give it some background information, it's gonna give me clear step-by-step -step instructions like this right here. Literally insane guys, so cool. And I really love this feature because you can talk to it as you would a freelancer and it will take your feedback and really understand you. It's an incredible tool. ChatGPT is capable of some pretty amazing things. You can get it to help you write copy, a marketing plan, and even a full strategy of how to run an entire business. But the content that it gives you is only gonna be as good as the prompts that you give it. And what I mean by that is when I first started using ChatGPT, I would ask it very simple and generic questions like, give me ideas for a digital marketing plan for selling X, Y, and Z product, for example. That prompt is good, but it's not great. And a good, not great prompt only gets a good, not great response. So how do you inspire ChatGPT to give you great responses if you are trying to sell out of your products? The first thing you want to do is assign roles. Assigning a role to ChatGPT and to yourself gives the AI clear expectations in terms of what kind of responses you're after. For example, you could ask it to teach you about how energy in the body works, right? It might go into detail about adenosine triphosphate, but what if your target audience is a kindergarten class? So that is where assigning roles comes in. So let's apply this to our needs. So you could say something like, you are e-commerce king on YouTube. I am a student that wants to learn from you. Give me step-by-step -step instructions on how I can sell out of my Japanese denim brand with $20,000 to spend on Facebook ads. Here we can see it is educating me leveraging Q 
key techniques that only someone in the industry would know. So like, look here, it's going into detail about how I can make my budget go further and make the most money possible by stressing the importance of A-B testing within Facebook ads. And it's even encouraging me to keep pumping money into ads that are showing high ROAS and low customer acquisition costs. So that is some pretty good stuff. You kind of have to be in the e-commerce slash media buying world to know about this stuff. And it's really taking on the tone of an e-commerce expert, which is super cool. But let's find out what would happen if we use the exact same question without assigning roles. Okay, so I'm gonna say, give me step-by-step -step instructions on how I can sell out of my Japanese denim brand with $20,000 to spend on Facebook ads. And because I didn't give ChatGPT a role or a persona to embody, it's giving me some pretty generic advice. It doesn't feel tailored to my needs and I would definitely not feel confident that I could sell out of an inventory with what it's giving me here. So whether that is e-commerce king, Toby, the founder of Shopify or Barbara Streisand, you can get ChatGPT to take on the persona of an expert that you look up to in your niche to get very detailed advice tailored to getting your products flying off the shelves. It's kind of like getting a free strategy session with your dream coach. Probably not Barbara Streisand though. Love her, but probably wrong niche. Okay, quick break here. If you guys do not have a Shopify account and you wanna create one, we have added a link up here in this video where you can click and activate your free Shopify trial. It only takes a few minutes and it could be the first step to something really big. So join our community of millions of entrepreneurs. Just remember that you guys have the power to give yourself the life that you've always dreamt of. All you need is the willpower to do so and a Shopify account. But also, if you are a total newbie and you have no idea where to start with your business, maybe even how to run your first Shopify store or how to generate sales, then we have created a very special course designed to take you from first day to first sale. It's kind of like a modern day MBA, but online. And also, did I mention that this is actually absolutely free? Some business gurus are gonna be selling their business courses for hundreds if not thousands of dollars online. And what you get does not even come close to what you would learn in this value-packed course. So click the link in the description box to gain access if you aren't interested, and you can thank us later. <laughs> now, whether you are using ChatGPT to strategize a really great email marketing plan or a content calendar that's gonna get products flying off the shelves, you're gonna wanna know about this prompt. I think you're gonna find this really helpful. Try getting ChatGPT to come up with its own prompts. The reason this is so successful is because you go into the conversation being like, how can I help you help me? And what happens is, instead of giving it prompts you think it will find useful so that it can provide you with valuable answers, now you will be providing it with prompts you know it will find useful. This will give you valuable answers that will help you actually achieve your goal of selling out products. Let's just talk about how crazy this is for a second. I am so impressed by what AI can do. And guys, the results are even crazier. If you wanna do this for yourself, this is the prompt that you would need, so check this out. Basically, I said, I need you to create some prompts for me. They should be designed to help me reach the results I need. Start by asking me questions, continue to ask me questions until you have enough information. You guys can literally pause this, screenshot this prompt, do what you gotta do because trust me, this is gold. Okay, then it asked me what the result was that I was after. And then I said to sell out of inventory of my Japanese denim brand. Then it started asking me questions to collect the information that it needed. I answered in sequence for clarity and it gave me this beautiful list of prompts I could ask it in order to reach my goal. And look at these guys, they are extremely thoughtful, detailed and valuable prompts. Honestly, I probably would have just come on here and literally asked it, how do I sell out of inventory of my Japanese denim brand, right? Like that makes sense. But if I were to type in that question, it would have given me this very generic response. So to play devil's advocate, Let's put this to the test and see if we get a better response with any of the prompts that it recommended us to use. So I'm going to type in here, how can you leverage social media platforms among Gen Z to showcase a Japanese denim pants brand and engage with potential customers? This response, guys, is way more actionable. The other response was giving us advice like understand our target market and create an e-commerce store. Like, duh, we know that. <laughs> But this one is mad specific. It's like, forget Facebook. 
Gen Z uses Snapchat and they use TikTok and also use UGC because Gen Z loves that, right? So it's a lot more tailored all because we did get ChatGPT to generate its own prompts. It really does know itself best, obviously. So hopefully this fun little trick is gonna be helpful to you. Okay, so we're gonna section this by social media platforms and we're gonna start with TikTok. So guys, we all know TikTok content moves fast. You have to post multiple times a day and sometimes ideas can dry up, right? So that's where ChatGPT comes in. So use ChatGPT to help you come up with ideas and then write short scripts for those TikTok videos. So for example, if you're running an interior decorating account and you feel like a broken record because there's only so many ways you can teach people how to feng shui, then ask ChatGPT to come up with some content ideas for you and help you write a script. And trust me guys, you will not be disappointed. So AI can really help you be more productive with your social media content, but all the tools in the world are not gonna help you if you don't have a solid plan. And that's why we created a free social media template that will help you plan your content that your audience will not be able to get enough of. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box. And that template is actually just one small part of a free online course that we've designed to help you take an e-commerce business from first day to first sale. So if you wanna start an online business and you wanna be one of the first to gain access to that, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box below. But other than that, let's just get back into it. Oh my goodness, when I found this next tool, I nearly lost it. Okay, so you know those talking videos that keep you really engaged because there's never a moment of silence and they never seem to be saying, um, that's because creators are using a tool called Timebolt that automatically removes silences, it speeds up scenes, and it lets you quickly cut your videos. And this tool gets me so excited because this will easily save an hour cutting videos rather than just manually doing it in Premiere. And if any of you are interested, I will leave a link down below. I think there's a free plan as well, and then there's a paid plan, and I think it starts at about $17 a month. All right, moving on to Instagram. So you guys might have seen Google Pixel's new magic eraser tool that just like removes unwanted objects from a photo, but you don't need to get a whole new phone to be able to take advantage of this AI tool. You guys can clean up your Instagram photos using an online tool called Magic Studio. So you can edit your photos just like this to draw attention to exactly where you want it. So here I'm going to remove the birds and now we can really focus on the people in the shot. So you can download this for free, but it will have a watermark. But imagine if you could bring it back into Magic Studio and remove the watermark it made. No. If you want to remove the watermark, it's going to be $9.99 a month. So this would be really great for photographers. And if you're an Instagram body, maybe you're often taking photos outside and you can't always control the background, then this might be for you. So reels are obviously king right now on Instagram, but the thing that may be holding you back is all the time that it takes to film reels. But what's really cool though is that there's a tool that will chop up a long piece of content for you so that you can make multiple reels just from one long video. And guys, this is called video.ai. It automatically detects which are the most interesting parts of a video and it gives you several different options to choose from. So you can get nine reels at a time just from one clip. Now, this automatic choice of clips that it spits out isn't always the best, so you would have to go in and comb through to decide for yourself, but it usually doesn't take longer than a few minutes to do that. Once you've decided on your clips, you can go in and add captions to help hook viewers in and keep them watching for longer. And I personally think that this is an amazing tool that will help you repurpose your content so that you can work smarter, not harder. And as we all know, today's world of social media success is all about scaling your processes. So I really hope you do enjoy this tool because this is going to be a huge time saver. And again, this one is called video.ai. Another tool that you guys are going to love is called Runway ML, specifically their video editing suite. So basically it allows you to do really complex edits that you would have otherwise had to pay someone to do it. And that's not cheap. Or you would have had to literally take hours to do it yourself because it's very complex. Okay. So for example, let's say you wanted to cut yourself out of background and put yourself on a different background. I don't know. Maybe you want to do that. You would have had to go frame by frame and make sure that all the cropping was correct. It's a lot of work, but now you can use AI and you can literally do it in two seconds. It's amazing what technology can do. So if you're trying to get like a TikTok style edit, but make it YouTube, then definitely check out Runway ML because this is going to be a lifesaver. Okay. So if you're hearing about ChatGPT plugins for the first time, no worries, I got you. ChatGPT plugins are tools that connect ChatGPT to external applications. They are extensions of ChatGPT's functionality. You install them like you would install a Chrome extension and you could just flick them on and off whenever you like. So these plugins are gonna let you do more with ChatGPT than ever before. So for example, 
OpenTable. They have a ChatGPT plugin to help you make the right restaurant reservation. So you could say like, give me recommendations for guys night for a table of four in LA. And then this ChatGPT plugin will actually give you a few recommendations and links for the reservation, which is amazing. David Sachs, he's an entrepreneur. He's well known for his angel investments at Facebook and Uber. And he described it as if ChatGPT was the iPhone moment for AI, plugins is the app store moment. And we all know that the iPhone is only what it is today because of all the apps. <laughs> now you don't have to be OpenTable or Instacart to make a plugin and you don't even have to be super tech savvy to make a plugin because that's what ChatGPT is for. But what you do need is a good idea. So if you want to build your own ChatGPT plugin to start a new business, here are a whole bunch of ideas that you can steal from me. Have you ever gotten an email from someone at work and you're like, uh, that was kind of rude. Or like, how do I even respond to this? Or maybe you've gotten a text from a friend that's like a little uncomfortable and you're just having trouble coming up with a response. So how awesome would this be if you had a social assistant that helped you navigate important relationships? When I was doing research for this video, I wanted to see if this would be possible. And from my findings, I'm almost certain that it is. If you could integrate this tool with iMessage and Gmail, it would be a seamless experience for users. Listen, I'm just an idea person here. So if any of you are more techie than I am, leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know if ChatGPT can integrate with iMessage, but I digress. This tool can be life-changing for people. According to doctor and author Yuval Noah Harari, evolution has shown that humans with accelerated social skills have more influence and power within their community. So with this plugin, you can help bring a tool to life that's branded as a powerful social assistant. Okay, number two. You could be the founder of a ChatGPT plugin that helps job seekers find roles that are relevant to them. So instead of scouring LinkedIn, Indeed, and other job boards, your plugin can help aggregate only the job listings that are relevant to them. Wouldn't that be cool? I think something similar exists, but if you elevate the tool that you create to make it an even better experience, you can be the better competition. Maybe a user wants a remote job, or maybe they want one at a fast growing company. You can be the solution to help job seekers save time and land the right position. When I was applying for a visa to live and work in the States, it took me almost a year and a ton of money to get it done. But if ChatGPT had a plugin to help immigrants, now we're talking. You know, imagine a bot that could tell you what type of visas you'd be eligible for, what documents you need, and how much it would cost you to get it done. This is gonna put immigration lawyers out of business. Just saying. If you're finding this video helpful, I'm so glad. Please give it a thumbs up because it does help this video do well. And this channel right here that you're watching guys is called Learn with Shopify. So if you want to see more videos on how to run an online business, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe. I love my health stats. Love them. I've had Nike Run Club for I think over 10 years and it's pretty cool to see all the jogs that I've ever gone on. But wouldn't it be even cooler to take personalized insights one step further. Like imagine a plugin that says, hey, you did 100 runs this year. You are 12% less likely to suffer from cardiovascular disease, for example, and do HIIT training to decrease this number to 18%. That'd be sick. That being said, you can develop a plugin that draws from health data to give everyday people advice that they can actually act on. So you can even target athletes, for example, that are looking to improve their performance. Companies depend on their sales team to keep the lights on. So naturally, the more efficient that these workers are, the better. So you can come up with a chat GPT plugin that takes the grunt work out of crafting a sales pitch. So the perfect sales pitch is gonna include the right target, in-depth research, and incredible communication skills. And if an employee is doing all of these steps for even say five pitches a day, that's a lot of work. So that's where your sales pitch plugin comes in. Imagine a plugin that could help sales team infer what problems businesses are having based off of LinkedIn content, news, and so on. The research component of building a sales pitch could be cut in half. And what if this plugin could also take sales pitches businesses are already using and edit them to make them even better? Amazing, this B2B plugin could be game changing for companies of any size and you could be the one to start it. Not to complain, but I'm complaining. Whenever I step into an auto shop, I know I'm gonna get rinsed. I just know it. I'm like a small woman, you know what I mean? And I feel like these guys are taking one look at me and they're like, yeah, we're gonna charge her $200 for an oil change. So imagine if you came out with a chat GPT plugin that protects consumers and their wallets by making both educated and personalized recommendations on products and services from reputable businesses. True, you could scroll through Google doing research to find out the right move, but why would you do that? 
when this tool can save time and make smart recommendations taking personal needs into consideration. This plugin could be the end of hours of research that it takes to make a purchase decision and the idea is yours if you want it. Journaling is regarded as one of the most effective ways to keep your mental health in check. But the problem with journaling is that it's a little one-sided. Writing down your goals and reflections for the week can be cathartic, but getting feedback on those entries can take it one step further to improve the effectiveness of journal writing and take it to a whole other level. So if you created a ChatGPT plugin that acted as a sounding board and as a mentor, you could revolutionize journaling in a way that no one has ever seen before. This is a cool new business idea that could be fun to execute and one that is just dying for good branding and marketing to make it go viral. So you're sitting on the couch, it's a Wednesday night, and you're like, babe, what should we watch? And they're like, I don't know, what do you think? And they're like, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> and then they're like, I don't know, what do you think? And then you end up scrolling on Netflix for at least 11 minutes and your date night ends with watching a trash movie that both of you will probably forget the next day. Does that sound familiar? I know this pretty much described what my last week looked like for me and I know other people are absolutely suffering from this horrible first world problem, but you could solve this problem by creating a chat GPT plugin. So this plugin could understand movie preferences, past likes, dislikes, favorite actors, directors, genres, and give suggestions on what movies are actually worth people's time in accordance to their individual taste. I feel like this plugin could be huge. If you guys are serious about starting a business, I want you to check out these resources, like a little bonus. So Tory Burch Foundation, yes, like the label. They actually have grants available, incredible grants. For example, they have one for women of color. And to find out the grant that's best for you, check out their funding finder. I will leave a link for you guys down below. I personally know the folks over there, they're amazing. So hopefully you find funding that does work for you. Holy moly, guys. Okay, I know throughout this video, I was playing it off like, oh, these ideas just come so easily to me. But honestly, I got to say, it was challenging to come up with a whole bunch of brand new business ideas. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Even if you don't take the exact ideas offered here, I hope this at least got your wheels turning. Okay, if you are on a ChatGPT frenzy right now, check out this playlist that has more ideas on how you can use ChatGPT to grow an online business. I will leave that right up here for you guys and linked in the description box down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. You guys are watching Learn with Shopify. This is an official Shopify YouTube channel that helps you learn how to grow an online business. My name is Michelle Bally. I have been your host for today and I will see you next week. Bye.